Everybody. Today is going to be super fun. We're going to do a fall ride at Appleton. I should be meeting Chad here. I don't know if anybody else is going to make it. I did post in our ride group that we're going to be here. So maybe we'll have a few more people show up. I guess we'll see before we get there. I just wanted to remind you guys that we'll be at Little Sahara, Oklahoma, October 12th through the 14th to do some riding. We'll do some group rides on Friday and Saturday. Uh, Sand Wars is happening, which is a lot of high horsepower drag machines from all over the country are going to be racing. It's going to be a pretty awesome time. So hopefully we'll see some of you guys there which is in less than two weeks. We're super stoked. So this will probably be the last ride before the trip. And uh, I guess that's all I got for you. So we're gonna be here very soon and we'll pick up when we get there. And there's Chad. Oh, Ted came with his DS. Unfortunately for the start of today's ride, I will not have any helmet cam footage because the stabilization was turned off. So here's an example of how nauseating that footage looks, and I won't subject you guys to that. So it'll be a mix of 360 bumper cam and some other tripod shots uh, to get us through part of the ride. Here we go. Seems like it's running okay. Yeah, spin is spreading a little bit on the top right at the end, but it's better than I want. Yeah. 
Did you uh, stuff the tire or was that already like that? No, I stuffed it. Yeah, the bead got stuffed with some dirt. Well. Yeah, why don't we throw a couple pumps in there? Because there's a couple rocks and roots over there. I got dirty following you. Huh? I got dirty following you. For once we can do like a full loop of this place. I'm trying to ride close to him. I'm just getting hit with roost. <laughs> there we go. This will be different. We're rarely down here. Oh, I don't think I've really ever been on some of these trails. This can be under a couple feet of water at times.
track if he's down to get on it. I don't know if his shoulder can handle it though. We have a little trial thing set up in here for the dirtbackers. We're gonna get on the track. I think got dirty. I uh, got totally sprayed by this fun when we were on the road. Yeah? Yeah, I got nailed. By what? First puddle, first oh. big one. Yeah, there's some big puddles on here. So I'm just gonna go through and hold I don't know, maybe your camera had fallen off or something. No, I smoked the tree. I was I swung it too wide and smoked my rear end on the tree. I thought you ran over the camera or ran out of the motor No, I think it just clipped the tire. Oh. Everything seems fine, no, nothing was wobbling. I thought you were going off. <laughs> and I just didn't have a good line, so. victory lap see what he does wind him up <laughs> this was fun today man nice to get out you know I love going to new places but it's so fun to go to your stomping grounds too we know what we like to ride here uh, efficient with capturing footage got some cool clips everybody worked together it's definitely a great day Nice to see the red tier X back out. 450 ran great, except I had the plastic pulled and forgot to tighten this hardware, so I lost those bolts. Get to do a little OEM bolt purchase, but squad's running good. And if you're still here at the end of the video, I think we might be selling this. I, I don't know. I think I'm kind of ready to part ways with it and maybe get something that's significantly different in the spring. But I just don't ride this thing a lot. It's so fun. It's a great quad, but my Raptor is a great do-it-all. So this is kind of... Maybe gonna be the last rip with this, unless we use it on Oklahoma. So we'll see. I still think that's funny looking. That looks a lot cooler than the Can-Am though. <laughs> the Can-Am is the same size as the Golf. 
What do you say you get like 35 to the gallon pulling that? 40, this, 40 to the gallon? Pulling this, yeah. I'd say that's worth the investment. It is. This is a sweet little trailer too. It's got to weigh nothing. slight delay in fiasco leaving because I couldn't find my truck key so it's a little bit later in the day we're not going to go into details but that was my bad learned a lesson there as always it was a great day ripping especially fun to get out and ride with Chad I haven't ridden with him in a long time because of his shoulder injury so good to see you back ripping Chad you still ride like you always have which is wide open uh, it was nice that Ted came with his daughter and her friend <laughs> it was pretty entertaining towards the end of the ride they got a little loose on the Raptors uh, one of them ended up upside down I think I might have that on video hopefully <laughs> The YFC was awesome to ride, super fun. I don't really want to sell it, but it's also been sitting quite a bit this year, and I just don't ride it enough, and I feel like I should go to somebody that's gonna really appreciate it. I love the quad, but it's so similar to my Raptor that most of the time I just ride my Raptor because it's a bit more easy going. But man, if you want to get out and attack, the 450 just makes me smile. It's just a fun, great quad, and uh, if I end up missing it, I can always get another one someday. But the Raptors had a bit more custom work done to it, and I'm a bit more partial to that machine. I've been saying that I would like to get a two-stroke for a long time, and we'll see how the off-season goes this winter, and maybe I can pull the trigger on one next spring. Also, don't forget about our Oklahoma trip that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. We will be there in less than two weeks, October 12th through the 14th. Come see some triple-cylinder banshees throwing down at Sand Wars. And last but not least, thank you to everybody that's been supporting us with parts and merch purchases on our website, PeteHager.com. If you're in the market for any parts, feel free to go on there and check it out. Uh, I was hoping to maybe get a new merch sign up soon, so I will be sure to announce that when it does finally happen. And let's see, uh, I don't know if I got anything else for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the ride today. I'm going to get back to town. Well, maybe we'll end the video with a quad wash, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.